Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. This is our another video on the topic magnetic anisotropy and here we are going to discuss the special type of magnetic anisotropy which is also known as ring current and this kind of ring current is important in benzene or you can say aromatic compounds. So here is the benzene molecule. When we draw the orbital structure of benzene then we will have a situation like this since here we are having three pi bonds and these pi bonds are formed by the sidewise overlapping of the p orbitals so here are the p orbitals and they form um, sidewise overlapping to form these pi bonds since these pi bonds in the benzene ring are said to be delocalized, so we are having overall electron cloud above the plane of the benzene ring and below the plane of the benzene ring. That is called a ring. This is which we have discussed in our previous video. There was no such kind of ring. So when this molecule is placed in the applied external magnetic field, then we are having a circulation of electron in the ring which is formed above the benzene ring and below the benzene ring. If electron circulation is there, then there is induced current. So I again tell you about this arrow. So this is the direction of the induced current and this circulation of electron takes place perpendicular to this applied external magnetic field so that is why the orientation of the molecule is in this way now the circulation of electron is taking place and just because of that induced current is there and if induced current is there and the situation is resembles like a current carrying loop so there are induced magnetic field lines also these blue lines represents the induced magnetic current though i have not drawn the direction so the direction of the induced magnetic field in this benzene molecule can be uh, represented by using this right hand thumb rule so if you put your hand over here and the fingers of your right hand will go inside this ring and when they come outside this ring they will go in the upward direction that is how you can decide the direction of the induced magnetic field this concept i have already discussed in my previous two videos so i am not elaborating that over here again here we are having a proton in the benzene ring which is again in the plane of the ring right so here the direction of the induced magnetic field is in the upward direction and this is the direction of the b node in the upward direction this induced magnetic field augments the magnetic field which is experienced by the proton so this is the proton which in the absence of this induced magnetic field will experience the b naught field but here because of the induced magnetic field it experiences the more magnetic field like we can say p node plus this magnitude of induced magnetic field so if it experiences an increased magnetic field then it resonates at higher frequency or we can say higher chemical shift value this is also known as reshielding zone and here we are having the shielding zone so if the proton because of the geometry of the molecule is somehow present at this shielding zone then that will be highly deshielded in case of this ring current. Now I will show you the structure of different orientations. The benzene molecule can adopt in the solution the possible orientations when it is placed in the applied external magnetic field this is the most effective orientation in this the circulation of electron is most effective whereas in rest of the orientations the electron circulation is not that effective and it could not cancel out the effect which is observed in this orientation so this is the most effective orientation which takes place and contributes significantly towards the magnetic anisotropy of the benzene ring. So that is why we used to draw only the effective orientations in the textbooks and uh, in the research papers. 
rather in solution we are having all possible orientation and this is decided by the second order tensor quantity which average out all these orientations right now i will give you the example of net csir question so this is the structure of 18 aniline and the peripheral proton of this 18 aniline resonates at high chemical shift value that is 8.2 delta this is highly deshielded and these inside protons are situated at the shielded zone so they are highly shielded so this is the value of the chemical shift which is equal to minus 1.9 delta i will give you another example of this type of question which is asked in june 2014 csir the correct match of the 1h nmr chemical shift delta of the following species or compounds are here we are having these three structures and here are the options first we will try to locate the appropriate answer for this question these all three molecules are aromatic uh, because these all are having 4n plus 2 pi electrons these three are following the 4n plus 2 pi electron rule and they are planar with conjugation that is the condition of aromaticity in these molecules high chemical shift value is expected because of the ring current you must remember this that benzene ring resonates at 7.27 ppm so in these four options we are having for second molecule 7.2 for a and b so c and d are not the answer so we will go only for a and b and now we are having in this molecule negative charge and in this molecule we are having the positive charge in case of nmr this negative and positive charge are very important and they play very important role this molecule is having negative charge and negative charge means there is a efficiency of electrons efficiency of electrons means it it shields the nuclei of interest so it shields the protons here if it shields the proton then they resonate at lower delta value as compared to this benzene ring and this is having positive charge positive charge means deficiency of electron if deficiency of electron is present in the molecule it means it draw the electron density from the protons in this molecule if it draw the electron density from the proton it means it is deshielded it deshielded means it resonates at higher delta value so this at higher delta value as compared to this and this will be at lower delta value as compared to this so this condition is satisfied only by the a so a is the correct answer for this type of question this question you can understand in two three ways first aromaticity is there secondly this molecule is acidic in nature because it can readily lose its proton to acquire the negative charge or to retain the aromaticity so this is acidic in nature this is these all are aromatic and these are having uh, different chemical shift values in the 1h nmr spectrum so i hope you find this lecture helpful and uh, you understand the concept here so please subscribe my channel give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching thank you all